Hey, welcome to Average Mike. We just hit over 300, 300 subscribers. Uh, thank you for the support. And now we're gonna give out some free gear and we'll tell you how to do that right now. So make sure you are subscribed. You like this video, comment below. It'll make you eligible to win that Average Mike shirt. And we will announce the winner in next week's video. I appreciate the support. Later, man. Welcome back to Average Mike's guys. And today we set ourselves up for the new norm. Welcome back guys, and like I said, we're trying to set ourselves up for uh, the new more here. Our, we have kids that are either in a mixed or a virtual schooling, and myself and my wife uh, both will need to work from home uh, more often than what we already do. So uh, this is the office, and forgive the mess because I am in the middle of, of doing this, and uh, I used to use this office for my t-shirts and general purpose. Uh, we also use it over here for exercising and we have a TV over there, but we decided to take my old desk and split it. Uh, it wasn't L-shaped and we decided to take this part out and uh, I gave my wife part of that desk. This is gonna be her area. She's still setting that up. And this is gonna be my new area. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was have a larger screen or or something. I have a laptop for work, and uh, basically, it's it's smaller. You'll see it later in this video, but uh, I wanted a separate screen, a larger screen for any video conferencing or or things that I have to do. Plus, it's a little lot easier to to work on if I have that. So I purchased this Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and the plan is to use this TV over here. Uh, we're gonna mount that over here and that'll be my monitor. But then I got to thinking that I use this machine here for t-shirts and I use this machine here for other purposes. I also have a Plex machine. They all have HDMI outputs. And what I came to realize is that I should buy one of these. And this is an HDMI KVM switch. Uh, basically what this is going to allow me to do is share the one monitor that's gonna be sitting here with this machine and that machine and my Plex machine that, and share the keyboard and mouse. Now hopefully, and this is the part I'm unknown, uh, I'm going to be able to use this uh, USB Bluetooth adapter uh, to allow uh, my Bluetooth mouse and keyboard to switch with this. Now, generally what you would do is have a USB keyboard or mouse and, and plug that in and it would share across. But um, I, wanted, I wanted a Bluetooth one. So uh, it's kind of uncharted territory. There's not too many people who do this. Uh, one of the problems is my, my work work laptop is a Mac and Macs generally have Bluetooth adapters uh, built in. So there's no real need for this. And it's hard to find one that will say that they work for a Mac OS. So this one says that it will. Also with this, uh, I've seen it where they, obviously you can use a USB keyboard and mouse. They said you can use a wireless keyboard and mouse, which is basically a keyboard and mouse that has its own docking station, which has uh, a USB port, which would plug into here. And it's wireless between its, its docking station and the keyboard and the mouse. But I wanna use Bluetooth. Um, that's what I have. So I, I kind of been using everything. I haven't bought too much other than these two things and the keyboard and mouse, but uh, I'm hoping, and we'll see if I pair, if I set this adapter up with all my machines and it knows about it, my keyboard and mouse will Bluetooth pair to this. Otherwise, if I pair, it, I would have to pair this with to every machine. So. Hopefully it pairs to this, and this will essentially get moved to whatever computer I'm using through this KVM switch, and everything will work great. So we will 
do a little review on this KVM switch and we'll see how it works out. All right, let's first get to unboxing this. So one of the things that I saw that with this is that this KVM switch comes with all the wires needed to do this. So this KVM switch is able to do four different uh, computers. So you have, you should have four or five USB cords, which we do one, two, three, four. And then we should also have HDMI cords, which we do. So that's really cool. I don't think all of them come with that. Uh, two, three, and four. So that's for your four machines. This is a, I don't know what that is. Looks like a USB to USB, uh, a little remote to switch to two. I think there's a button on the actual unit itself too, but there's a remote that you can switch between displays. And then if we pull this out, this is probably our power cord for it. Let's see. Uh, it's a USB, yeah. So, little USB brick here with the power cord. Set that over here. And this is our units. Take the phone out here. Here we go. Anything else? Some instructions. So we are missing, they gave us four of each. We really need five, but uh, actually no, we would need another USB. But anyway, uh, so here is the, I guess the back. Yeah, this would be the back. So this is where each one of your uh, display ports will go uh, for each computer. So you, you have a USB for the mouse and keyboard and, and anything else you may need uh, connection for that each machine. So HDMI connects for each machine. There's four of them. You have your main display, which is where our TV monitor will go. The two USBs, which one of them will be for our Bluetooth adapter and the other one will be extra. We could use plug in a thumb drive or something like that. You have power and you have on off. And then the front here, it looks like I'm upside down. Looks like uh, you have the option to select which one you want to use. And then another USB if you wanted to put a thumb drive in here or a wired remote. Oh, so this is for, that's what this cable is for. That, and I guess the remote has a option or probably it has to be wired in you can put it somewhere close by. You don't have to hit these buttons if you wanted to. So it's a Jitec 4K HDMI 2.0 KVM switch. Uh, yeah, that's it. So let's get to, I have to take that TV down. So we'll get to taking that down, uh, moving it over here and we will start wiring everything up and we'll see how it works out. Hopefully that, that adapter works. This is eventually gonna go out, probably into that back room there. Uh, these two uh, machines will get turned around so that we can face the TV. This TV is on a swivel, so it can kind of get turned. It will be a dual purpose for now to monitor for here and then also turn it for TV access for the, when you're exercising. So, all right, let's get to work. Alright guys, as you can see, we got 
this all installed I had the computers wired up and we turned it on I'm going to use this my work laptop first just to see what we got uh, I did I ran the cables to this adapter because this laptop only has USB-C and this will be the one that kind of goes in and out it's not going to stay here permanently so let's plug this sucker in for now I'm assuming that is for the Bluetooth adapter. I just want to see if I can get video up to the TV. So I think we were on number four. Let's see if we get signal up here. Looks like it wants to go. I might be on the wrong video here, so let's see. Uh, 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 let's try HDMI one. I got nothing. Oh, there we go. All right. So as you can see, I got, I have to gather my windows here. So let's go down to here. Displays, arrangement, mirror display. So there we go. Pretty cool. I don't like the TV, the TV needs to be tilted down a little more. There is an adjustment for that, just haven't done it yet. Uh, it actually sit a little too high, but we'll see what I, how I like it. See if we like it and go from there. All right, so in theory, if I fire this guy up, one of these should be, I'm thinking it was that one because Ooh. Ooh. It's not like that at all. I don't know why. All right, let's see why it is doing that. Okay, guys, we are finally getting somewhere. We found out that um, the cause of my static was due to, the, I believe, the port on the back of the TV. I have two HDMI ports. It didn't like the one port. And I just basically ran a direct line right to the TV. Um, and we weren't getting any display on the one port, whereas the other port, it worked. So um, we wired everything back up, put, moved it to the other port in HDMI, and that seems to be okay. And as you can see, if I go and switch uh, takes a couple seconds, but then it switches to the display. So that's pretty cool. Um, there goes static in again. All right, we are back and we finally got this figured out. I actually switched the TV out and I believe the TV was, the TV's over 10 years old, so uh, it, it might not be taking HDMI too well, but as you can see, I can flip now no issues takes a couple seconds there's my windows machine go back so if anybody's concerned about how long it takes it does take uh i don't know one two three four five eh, about five six seconds to uh switch between machines uh it's not too bad but Anyways, the I was have been playing with this Bluetooth and the mouse and the keyboard, and as you can see, so the mouse seems to pair no problems between the two, at least these two systems here, uh, and I think it's because there's no pairing code needed, right? So uh, going back and forth, I I don't seem to lose mouse connectivity. The keyboard, however, even though right now it says paired. So as you see, when I click on it, it says paired, or it says paired when I push a button, it says connected, and then it goes back to paired. And I'm getting the same response on the Mac. So I believe that to be because when you pair the keyboard and the mouse, or when you pair the keyboard, it, it, show, it makes you put a code in for the pairing process. 
Uh, it's a random generated code. You probably, if you pair Bluetooth things before, that's, you know, that's common. Uh, I was a little surprised, although because there's keys in the keyboard, it makes sense. But um, I think because they're two different codes, it's my only observation here is the two different codes between the two different machines, uh, it, it's messing it up. So I'll have it paired on one and then I'll go to the other one and it'll say connected, but then uh, they'll disconnect right away. So um, I don't think the key, the Bluetooth keyboard's gonna work. I'm gonna have to use a, a USB keyboard uh, or a wireless uh, a, a RF keyboard uh, rather than a Bluetooth keyboard. So um, yeah, so it, unfortunately Bluetooth doesn't seem to work for that. All right guys, so that's gonna be a wrap for this video. It's a little different than the normal videos I usually run. Um, this, I figured I was doing all this, um, maybe even do a product review of this Tech HDMI four port uh, KVM switch. Uh, it works great, I think. Uh, the Bluetooth will not work, so, and I didn't buy it. That was a, a complete uh, uh, gamble on my part on seeing if the Bluetooth would work. And uh, the mouse does, but the keyboard doesn't seem to be working. So uh, you, if you wanna use, this is supposedly, it says that it, the RF keyboard and wireless mouse, um, wireless keyboard and mouse with the docking station would work. Uh, however, the Bluetooth does not. So, and they didn't mention anything about Bluetooth working. So uh, also with the you know, issues I'm having, obviously if, if you come across, if you're using a, a TV for your monitor, um, with the static that I was getting, it's either the TV, uh, the HDMI cord, the quality of HDMI cords that you have, or, uh, sometimes the drivers, uh, on the machines are, are, uh, need to be updated or what have you to support the HDMI, uh, quality that comes, goes through. So keep that in mind as well. If you're interested in this Jitec uh, KVM switch, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, I'm not sponsored by any means by these company. I just, you know, I've read really good reviews on it. It seems to work pretty well. And um, so I figured I'd show you my experience and hopefully it helps somebody else. That's really the only reason why I did it. So, and plus with everything going on in the world, you know, some people might be very interested in something like this or just hooking their uh, computers up to a larger display using a wireless and that point if you're just using one machine You could use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and just kind of set your laptop to the side have a bigger screen to mess with and um, Make your job a little easier and then obviously if you need to go somewhere else You just take your laptop and you have the machine with you. So pretty cool. If so, if you like the video, please give it a like uh, Go ahead and subscribe if you consider subscribing uh, comment below if you have any experience with this uh, setup or any help that would help me out with Bluetooth. Uh, that'd be cool too. I do do giveaways every 100 subscribers. Uh, we're almost at uh, uh, that mark now. So uh, you would have to subscribe and when hit, turn on those post notifications. And that way when the video comes out for details on how to win uh, the Average Mike t-shirt, uh, you, can, you can enter yourself to win. So uh, until then, uh, check out my other videos, my other projects I got going on, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.